<coughs> I want to pick up where I left off this morning. Amen. 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 The Lord is good. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, this is Super Jesus Sunday night. Amen. Amen. And this is a good crowd. Isn't the Lord wonderful? Yes, he is. All the time. God's good. Now, the message this morning that I'm going to pick up tonight, I'm, I am and I'm not. I'm really not talking about the one that's following Jesus. But then again, I am because you need to know you, you have to overcome in this life. Yes. And we're going to read those scriptures. Yes. Jesus Christ is speaking. But I'm talking to the ones that are whoremongers, bar hoppers, that believe they're saved because they have a belief in Jesus. Are you here? Or people that are living together, shacking up, but because they heard a false gospel, oh, I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. And they continue to live in that sin. Right. Now, Jesus will forgive. Amen. Yes. If we repent and turn from sin unto him. Amen. But to live in such fornicators, adultery, whoremongers, liars. Bar hoppers, drunkards, and, and for them to say, Jesus is my Savior, I'm going to heaven, they're deceived. That's totally opposite from the Word of God. Amen? Let me tell you, I didn't know how that message was going to come out this morning. And it came out to me beautifully, the Holy Spirit delivered it beautifully. And it's all, if you compare a scripture with scripture, and this is suggested. And so we're going to pick up from this morning. If you would look with me in Galatians, chapter 1. I want you to look at verse 7 and 8. No, excuse me, verse 6. Seven and eight and nine. Galatians chapter one, verse six through nine. Please turn your Bibles there. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For the word of the living God. That's right. Thank you for giving illumination to my mind. And direction to my spirit, my God. Thank you in the name of Yeshua. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And I find every hindering spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And cast you out. Yes. Go. Yes. And leave the earth in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that every ear will be a listening ear unto the word of the living God. Thank you, Father, for speaking through these lips of clay unto this people. In Jesus' name, amen. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him. Listen, that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have received. 
preach unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that you have received, let him be a curse. Now, turning over to Galatians, you're there at Galatians chapter 1, turn over to verse number 5. Yes, chapter 5. I'm sorry. Thank you. Galatians chapter 5. Look at verse number 16. <clears throat> Excuse me. This I say then. Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the... Now, this is written to Christians. <clears throat> fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery. Fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, endings, murders, drunkenness, and rebellion. Now listen. And such like. <clears throat> now he's writing to Christians. Listen. Of the which. I tell you before. As I have also told you. In time past. That they which do such things. Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. You can't get any blood. Now, let God be true, the word says, and let every man be a liar. Yeah, but Brother Dennis, I practice some of those things. Repent, the blood will wash you. But to live in such, to live in it, believing that many people believe, Jesus, I believe in Jesus. He's my Savior, yeah, but He has to be Lord. It says, and shall confess him as Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's many people that live in such acts, believing they're going to heaven, Jim, Richard, because they've heard a false gospel. That's right. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Do you believe in Jesus? Did you say that prayer and receive him as Savior? You're okay. And yet, they live a fornicating life, shacked up, drunkards, but because somebody told them and patted them, said, you're okay in your sin. No, they are not. Just as I would not be. Are you here? There is a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. And Jesus Christ himself said, if the blind Leave the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. Without holiness, no man is going to see the Lord. Amen. He's called us unto holiness, not unto weakness. The church is supposed to stand out. It is to be a light. It is to be a beacon unto the world. We are not to be like the world. We are to be separate from the world. Not to shun them, but be a light unto them. Amen. Amen. That's right. You wouldn't believe how many people believe that, though. How many people in here have come across people such as that? Look at this. It's all over. 
The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 14, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. You heard me say this morning the message that many people are going to depart from the faith. And you cannot depart from something you never were once of. Amen. Can you? No, you can't. I can't depart from New York City because I've never been there. Somebody says, well, they never were saved in the first place. It says they departed from the faith. That's right. They were saved. How? It says giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And one of them, it says, forbidding to marry. Mm -hmm. How many people believe they're okay with God and they live together outside of marriage? Now, don't throw a stone at me. I'm not, I'm just preaching the Bible. Amen. I'm a broadcaster from heaven. There you go. Amen. Why? Because the word of God is from heaven. That's right. And I'm broadcasting it. That doesn't mean we don't love such. We love those people. I used to be one of them years ago. And Jesus had mercy on me. But I'm here to sound the alarm because so many people are deceived. There's going to be people in hell and probably already there mad at their pastor or some minister. You told me I was okay. And they weren't. We need the fear of God instead of the fear of man. If I had the fear of man, I wouldn't be giving this message to you. I wouldn't be giving, thank you. I wouldn't, give it, I wouldn't be giving this message to you if I had the fear of man. That's right. But it's become, where's the fear of God at these days? People are so fleshly and carnally minded. I am surprised how many people take sides against the word of God and holiness. Amen. Why would any Christian would, would want to take sides against holiness? And take up for sin. Why? You're right. They're deceived. In the 60s, we used to call those guys grace priests. In the 60s? Call them grace priests. Did you hear it, Frank? He said in the 60s, we used to call those guys grace freaks. Well, we call it today the greasy grace message. You oh, you're okay. As long as you accept Jesus and you believe in him, your sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. You're okay. Well, why would the Bible say if we confess our sins? That's right. The greasy grace message is a message from the pit of hell. I've got plenty of scripture. It's all in the Bible. From the Old Testament to the New. Yeah. Paul is writing to the church at Galatia. And he said here. As I have told you in time past. That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now look with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look with me to, to Revelation chapter 3. The book of Revelation chapter 3. <clears throat> Friends, you can't be a friend of the world and a friend of God. Jesus said the world hated him. It's going to hate you. Right. You're there at Revelation chapter 3. Look at verse 4 and 5. Remember therefore. Well let me just read the verse number 1. And unto the angel 
of the church you start is right. Now, can I let me address this again? This is written to Christians, the church, not worldly people, the church. Amen. Revelation chapter 3, verse 1. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis rock. These things saith he that has the seven spirits of God. And the seven stars. I know your works. And you have a name that you live and are dead. Wow. Be watchful. Now listen. And strengthen the things which remain. That are ready to die. For I have not failed your works perfect before God. And people will say. Oh it's not about works. Well the Bible says without works faith is dead. And the Bible says be you holy for I am holy. Amen. God wants you to be holy like Him. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> Verse 3. Remember, therefore, how you have what you have received and heard, and hold fast, not loose, or carelessly, or just to believe. Hold fast and repent. I'll tell you, Jesus preached repentance. Amen. When he was on earth, and there's repent right there from Jesus. Right. Amen. Somebody says, I don't believe in repentance. Jesus Christ, the head of the church, the king of glory, and the Lord of lords, yeah. preached repentance. Yeah. To turn from sin. Because he doesn't want his church garments. He doesn't want our garments Spotted. Right. Oh, what a glorious gospel. Mm -hmm. When you live right, when you worship Him in spirit and in truth, the saint says, Yes! There's angels right now are saying, Preach it! Yes. There are. America needs to hear it. Did you know that America is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah right now? Amen. It's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, brother, this we don't like that kind of preaching. Well, heaven does. Heaven does. And you didn't call me. Jesus did. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know. How wicked. Listen. Let me tell you. We wouldn't be in the shape. We would be in. If the church didn't live like she did. Amen. Come on. Are you here? If my people that are called by my name would humble, but you know there's so many people that are so proudful they wouldn't, they won't submit to truth. Amen, Jim. Amen. Isaac. If my people that are called by my name would humble themselves, and what else? Pray. And seek my face and turn. Turn from what? Their wicked, Their wicked ways. But yet, then again, people would tell them, you're okay. What kind of gospel? Who you been listening to? He didn't say it was okay. Amen? Amen. I know y'all know it's not okay, but there's a lot of people that believe it's okay because 
Jesus is my Savior. Oh, thank you, Lord. And here's what the Holy Spirit just gave me. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he also said, you honor me with your lips. But he told them, your heart's far from me. Did, he not, did Jesus say that? You honor me with this, but your heart is far from me. Remember, therefore, verse 3 of chapter 3 of Revelation, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. You have a few names, even in Sardis, which shall not defile their garments. They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Now look at verse 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not, what? I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. In other words, Jesus is saying to this church, your name can be blotted out. Yes. Right. Now that does away with all this, well, no matter how I live or what I do, as long as I believe in Jesus. Read the book for yourself. I would not want to trust Another man without me seeing it in the book. Amen. 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 Yes. How many people have trusted a man and not going to the Bible himself? Many. Many have. You need to read the Bible. Amen. Yes. Hell is real, and I don't want to go there. Amen. 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 Now, I want you to look at chapter 3. You're in Revelation chapter 3. Look at verse 14. Look at verse 14 of Revelation chapter 3. Now he's writing to another church. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right. God always comes with a warning, isn't he? That's grace. That's mercy. And many people again abuse the grace of God. To satisfy, they say, to satisfy their sin. Oh, I'm under grace. Well, did you read in the Bible where it says, shall we sin that grace may avail? It says, God forbid. Amen. Amen. I said this before and I'll say it again. God's been speaking to many people to do certain things. But when they didn't listen after one, two, three, or four times, they agreed and quit speaking. Are you here? Amen. Matter of fact, God knows what a lot of people is going to say before he asks because he's got no or their hour didn't say anything to him. Amen. Amen. Why? Because people won't see, so many people give their flesh what it wants. Amen or amen? Amen. It's still so. Because I know if he speaks to me and tells me not to do something, he's wanting to see where my obedience is at. How many other people has he spoke to? Amen. Why? Because he wants to see what you would do. Sometimes I pass this test and sometimes I fail. But I'm learning. Amen. 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 He told me just uh, this Saturday, a, a week ago, not to do something for two weeks. Oh, it's hard on the flesh. But he wants to see if my allegiance is to him. And it's nothing sinful. He, should, he might tell you not to eat in three days. That's nothing sinful. But he wants to see if you're going to obey. 
And it's really hard when he tells you you're not ready for it. When you're not prepared for it. And you're going to Chick-fil-A. How many times has this happened? I'm thinking about a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And I'm about to turn into it. Don't eat no breakfast. What? Couldn't you have told me that? Did I re-smell it? Yeah, I was there nearly smelling it. How many people grieve God because they pushed it aside and went ahead and did their thing? But yet, they are authority on the scriptures. Are you here? Amen? And I've told you before and I'll tell you again, I don't know nothing. It's only because of God. I am who I am because of the grace of God, but I don't abuse His grace. Amen. Amen. I am who I am because of Jesus. Have I missed it? You betcha. But in my heart, God, forgive me. I'm going to pass the test next time. Forgive me, God. I grieve. Don't look at me so sanctified. You've been there too. If you can't say amen, say, oh, me. 24 hours a day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> We all need Jesus. We all need His strength. But it's one thing to... Oh, thank you, Lord. We are to strive for it. But some people, because of what they heard and taught, oh, I'm going to heaven. Yeah, and you're shacking up? And you believe you're really going to heaven? And you're a whoremonger? Not so. Are you here? Amen or only? Amen. Let's go on reading. Let's start over at verse 14 of Revelation chapter 3. And unto the angel of the church of the Lamb descends, write these things, saith the Amen. The faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works. That you are neither neither cold nor hot. I I would you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. I hate to know that the Lord said that to me. Are you here? God wants you on fire for Him. Amen. Not straddling the fence. Colder. Well, when I'm in the world one day, and then I'm in church the next moment, and over here. It doesn't work that way in His kingdom. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Bible says in Peter, if the righteous scarcely be saved, worship the sinner and the ungodly appear. Amen. And how do you hear some people preach? Oh, you got it. May it says if the righteous scarcely be saved. And some people act like no matter what I say or do, I'm okay. What sin? <clears throat> Amen, Jim. Amen. Are you here? He's good, ain't he, Chris? And pay. Praise God. See there? I'm not only picking at you tonight. <laughs> I got paper right here. Though. God is good. Amen? Amen. How many people that heard a false gospel that left this world deceived would love to come back and hear the true gospel? All of them. All of them. And eating blood and false things, fornication. Those were the two 
things, of all the things they could have said to avoid, but those are the two things. And then Paul begins to write a list of things. Mm -hmm. And we see here in the 16th verse of Revelation chapter 3, so then, because you are lukewarm, God is speaking, the Lord Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, knowest not that you are wretched, miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Many people don't even know Jesus is describing them. You're wretched. If you're lukewarm, Jesus is saying you're wretched, you're blind, you're poor, you're naked. It goes back if the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Thank God for his blood. Thank God for his mercy. What is the grace of God? While we were yet sinners and wicked and undone, Christ died for us. Amen. That's the grace of God. You couldn't save yourself. I couldn't either. But God in his mercy and love said, I'm sending the Lamb of God to the earth. I'm sending a Lamb without spot, without blemish, that's going to shed his blood his holy blood, his innocent blood, for the sin of the world. Amen. That's grace. Yes, it is. That's mercy. And many people don't even know what grace is. They think grace is I can go live like the devil and still go to heaven. Read the Bible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at verse 18. I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with thy salve, that thou mayest see. They didn't see. There's many that don't see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and what? Repent. Repent. Turn from that unto holiness. Amen. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and suck with him and, and he with me. Now look at verse 21. Here it is again. To him that overcometh. To him that overcometh. I will grant to sit with me in my throne. Even, I, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. What do I overcome, Brother Dennis? The world, the flesh, the devil, temptation, trials, tests. And you can do it because Jesus is in you. And this is the victory that overcometh the world in 1 John. I believe it's chapter 5, verse 4. Even our faith. You have to overcome. You have to overcome to the end. He that overcometh, the Bible says, to the end in another place. The same shall be saved. We have to overcome the world, amen? amen. Look at all that's in the world. 
Look at all in this temptation everywhere you look. <clears throat> it's, amen, Brother Dale. Amen. I love you. I love y'all. We love you. As we say here in this city, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. Somewhere else, I think it's up north, they say, love you guys. Yeah. Right? If I didn't love you, I wouldn't give you the truth. I'm just kicking you here. But I'm not, I don't want to go to hell for preaching a false gospel. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now you see why I asked you when we first talked on the phone and you said I wouldn't expect nothing less. Amen. Praise God. I remember when Christy called me, I said, Am I allowed to preach? Am I allowed to flow with the Holy Ghost? And she said, I wouldn't expect nothing less. Amen. 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 Because I know I'm giving account to him one day. And I'm going to preach what the Holy Ghost gives me. Amen. 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 If I had to go out on the street corner and preach. Because there's so many blind people out there. And I'm going to end with this, sir. My mom had a dream. The Lord gave her a dream. My, well, the Lord's given my mother many dreams. And she was in this church, and Mama said it was a mega church. And Mama said there was heads everywhere. And she was sitting down in the middle, or maybe a little bit further back in the middle of the church. And Mama said what the preacher was preaching wasn't the gospel. She stood up in that church and she pointed at it and she said, that's not the gospel. And she said, I'm leaving. Who's going with me? Mama said, no one got up in that mega church and left with her. They all listened to deception. I love you. And more importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. Amen. He wants you to spend, He wants you to spend eternity with Him. Amen, Pam? Amen. Missy? Amen. Kevin? He wants you to spend eternity with Him, Angie. Dale? Two Dales. Dale and Dale. <laughs> he wants you in heaven with Him. He shed his blood for you and I to deliver us from sin and the penalty, but he didn't deliver us for to continue in it. Amen? Amen. Let's all say it. Glory to God.